Good morning, good morning. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed morning. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If you see my title, it talks about prayer. Um, This morning, God had woke me up about maybe 4 o'clock, and immediately I heard the power of prayer. Fire within and fire without. And I said, God, what are you saying? God says, you must be so endowed with prayer that the fire in you touch everybody around you, the presence. He said, but also the fire without, meaning that any devil, any, any, any dart that the enemy tries. The, notice he said fiery darts. So think about it. For it to be a fiery dart. That means the fire must be in the inside of you so there can be a manifestation that the dark can't even touch you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So we got to get so endowed with the word of God. Get up praying, going to bay praying, praying in between your jobs, whenever you're going in a quiet place. And that's why I wrote this on here and I want to read this. It says, Godly disciplined prayer with fasting, releases breakthrough power. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. How many of you want breakthrough power? Not just to say I'm praying, I'm fasting, but I have the power of God inside of me to touch others. Come on, somebody, to heal others, to deliver others. Prayer and fasting humbles us. It keeps you before the throne of God. It keeps you letting you know we ain't all that. Come on, somebody, that it is God. It's the presence of God, the power of God, the fire of God. Come on, somebody. This self-denial of our exaggerated physical appetite, meaning that, you know, sometimes we think we need this and we need that. And yeah, I'm talking about food or whatever the case may be. There are times that God will tell you back up, back up. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for a period of time, allows us to wait in faith and to trust God's mercy. Prayer and fasting is a sign of our desire and hunger to seek God like never before. Praise God, praise God. And I also want to read from Zechariah, Zechariah of chapter 1, verse 6, and it says, But my words and statutes, which I commanded my service to prophets, did not take hold of of your fathers, and they were turned and said, like as on the Lord of horse thought to do us according to our ways and according to our doings. So help he dealt with us. Praise God. Praise God. And that was the word of God. Let me tell you something. The word of God is real. That's why you get up in the morning and you pray. And I'm going to go ahead and say a prayer right now for those that are faithful, those that are on here. Because let me tell you something. A lot of what has happened is now people say, well, it don't take all that. Can I tell you, it takes all this plus some. Oh, come on, somebody. I, I, I'm just saying for those that are hungry. I'm just saying for those that want the power of God. I'm just saying for those that want some bread. I'm just saying for those that's going through some things that have some family members, come on somebody, because we can always use some power of God. We can always use the peace of God, the fire of God, the anointing of God, the healing of God, the deliverance of God. Praise God. So I'm going to start praying right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And and I'm going to give you secrets to the kingdom. When I pray and God put this in my spirit years ago, I I see the throne of God before me because that's what prayers is. Prayers is coming before God. Actually, in the throne of God. That's why he says, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. So I imagine myself before God because that's what we're doing. We're petitioning before God. And Jesus is sitting on the right hand. He is our mediator. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Everybody that's in the sound of my voice, Father God, we just come to you, Father God, boldly to the throne of grace, God. First of all, just thanking you for waking us up this morning. Oh God, if it had not been for the angel that stood beside us and you say, touch her, touch him in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah to his name. Oh, Father God, I just come to you. Everybody that's in the sound of my voice, whatever they're going through, Father God, any pain, Father God, in their body, Father God, any financial strain, Father God, anything that's going on in their family, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I come into agreement with them, Father God. I 
pray, Father God, for healing, deliverance, Father God, the power of God to manifest in their lives like never before in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father God, you say, if any two shall touch and agree, Father God, I touch and agree with them right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father God, I decree and declare, Father God, that your word will go forth in their lives. They will be who you have called them to be, Father God. I annul every attack, every satanic attack. I terminate it to the root of that thing in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, let it burn up by the Holy Ghost fire of the God. Hallelujah to his name. Oh, Father God, I pray for strength. I say strength in everyone on this call, everyone that will listen to this, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I plead the blood of Jesus over their mind, their soul, and their body. Oh, Father God, strengthen them mentally, physically, emotionally. Father God, bless them financially, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Heal, Father God, deliver, Father God, restore, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Strengthen them where they've been weak and weary and teary and afraid, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I cast out all fear in the name of Jesus. For fear cancels faith, Father God. I say increase their faith, God, in the name of Jesus. Let them know you like never before, Father God. Let them be endowed with the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father God, I decree and declare a breakthrough is coming in their lives, around them lives, through their lives in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father God, I pray, Father God, right now, Father God, that as they go on about their day, Father God, that they will hear you, they will see you, they will feel you, they will see manifestations of your glory of your power. Hallelujah to his name. Others will also see the manifestation. Oh, Father God, rise them up, Father God, to their true meaning. Let them know their assignment on earth, Father God. Let them know their time on earth, Father God, is short to be about your father's business, Father God. I pray strength. I pray, Father God, that you continue to put your word in their mouths, Father God, and in their belly, Father God. May livers of waters, oh, Father God, of living waters flow out their belly. The power of God, the fire of God, 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 like never before in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare to be so, Father God. I pray, Father God, over them, Father God, that you stir them up, God. Stir up the Holy Ghost. Stir up the fire of God. Stir up the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father God, we cancel and terminate all assignments over their lives, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father God, I decree and declare to be so, Father God. And I seal this prayer with the precious blood of the Lamb. By saying amen, amen, and amen. Praise God, praise God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I tell you one thing, God is good. Glory, glory, glory to God. I don't care what the enemy is doing. I don't care what the enemy is trying to do. God keeps telling me, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and end. Is there anything too hard for me? Praise God. Y'all have to, uh, excuse me. I, I sleep with the fan on and the air. So I'm a little stopped up this morning. So I do apologize for that. But I tell you one thing, you got to get up Warren. You got to get up worshiping. You got to get up loving God. And I have to say this people, the foundation of God is love. If you have not love, then you don't have the power of God. You don't have the presence of God. I know people can be something else, but you have to learn to forgive people. Don't walk in anger. Don't walk in hate. Not if you're a child of God. We walk in love. Yes, we put things in perspective. Don't get it twisted. So I pray as you go towards your day and about your day that you you witness to somebody that you hug somebody that you love somebody back to life that you that, that you believe in yourself that you love yourself as well come on somebody hallelujah and you spread love and the power of God it behooves me how 12 apostles turned this world upside down and we have 2.5 million Christians and the world is in topsy turvy I'm going to leave you with that God bless you God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.